Joe, did you watch uh, Bengals and Browns games when you were younger and have your teammates or even Mike Brown um, talk to you about the Battle of Ohio? And if so, what have they told you? Um, I did watch it. I wasn't a uh, – I didn't excessively watch the NFL when I was growing up. Um, but I do know the, the history behind it and how um, Mr. Brown's father started the Browns and then started the Bengals as well. So I know the history behind it. Um, excited to play in the game. Excited from the first one. Joe, uh, everybody's got great players in the National Football League, obviously. Uh, Cleveland's got Miles Garrett. You know, another guy that can rush the pass for Sheldon Richardson. I mean, when you looked at the tape for the first time of that game against the Baltimore Ravens, uh, Cleveland, what, what what jumped out at you about their defense? You know, they have guys. They have really good players. I mean, everybody in the league does. Um, obviously, Miles Garrett saying the same thing as last week. One of the best pass rushers in the league. So um, I'm going to have to be on my game, getting the ball out of my hands uh, quickly again. So you obviously had a, a normal run up to the Chargers game. It was a normal week. This is obviously condensed very quickly in your career. How has it been different? How much tougher has it been trying to trying to prepare for such a quick turnaround? It's really just a, a quick transition as far as all the information that I'm trying to gather. Um, you know, we don't know a lot about their defense yet. Um, and I'm trying to figure out when I can get my throws in because we're just we're doing walkthroughs right now. Um, so I'm going to have to find a time today before we leave tomorrow to get all the throws that I need in just on my own. Uh, so that's really the, the number one thing. Any soreness? Nope. Good to go. Good. Well, the one thing from the, from Sunday that kind of stood out was, you know, you've been known as a very accurate deep ball guy. And I saw some stat that you were all for five going, going deep. Is that, is that just the product of being, uh, you know, just first time out of the gate? Yeah, I don't know. I just got to hit him. That's all there is to it. When you uh, when you assess how your first uh, your first game went and what you anticipate going into this uh, this one hundred hours later or whatever, what things uh, what things do you think would be the easiest to correctable or, or the things that you can make the quickest improvement on? What what in your mind uh, is is the easiest track? Well, I mean the thing about the NFL is there's two or three plays that dictate the outcome of the game. All the games are so close. Um, so if I make two extra plays on Sunday, we win. So I'm, I'm just focused on being ready for when those opportunities present themselves and being ready to hit those shots and make those decisions. Joe, it felt like uh, early on you played one way and then really late in the game, you just really started firing. You looked a lot more sort of comfortable or confident in command. Is that the nature of what the play calling was? Did things open up for you? Is it just the first three quarters were a little bit, I'm playing my first game? What do you attribute that to? And is that fair to say that that last little bit was a little bit of a different Joe than early? Yeah, I mean, in my, my eyes, I played terrible through three and a half quarters, and then I played up to my standards in the last drive and almost won the game. Um, so I just have to, you know, I know I'll be ready for it, and I just have to just keep that same mindset that I had in the two-minute drill to – kind of bring that along the rest of the season. And Joe, when you were leaving Ohio State to go to uh, to go to LSU, how, how strongly did you give Oklahoma a look at, at potentially being Baker's successor? Um not at all. They didn't uh they didn't reach out, didn't have a lot of uh suitors at that point in time. Joe, how What's much did you thoughts? benefit from the up tempo offense and, and do you think that's something that, that could help you moving forward? Yeah. Um you know, I think it just depends on the team that we're playing, um, whether they give us complex blitz looks that, you know, we need to get the protection right or um, they're pretty base and then we can go faster. But, um, you know, I think there's a time and place for it in every game. What was it like playing with A.J. Green, Joe, to play in a game with A.J. Green? Your uh, thoughts on Baker Mayfield and the type of quarterback he is? You've seen him play? Yeah, I think he's a great player. Um, you know, I Obviously, what he did at Oklahoma and, and what he did in his first couple of years in the NFL, um, he, he's been playing really well, and I'm, I'm excited to compete against him. Joe, I know you're a humble guy, and you're a, a great quarterback that uh, deflects all the credit, accepts all the blame, but watching it, when the offensive line started to 
pick it up a little bit. So did you. I mean, your level of play. I, I think it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? When they're playing better, you're going to be playing better. Yeah, and I think, I mean, that happens on defense. That happens on offense. When you know, when all all eleven guys are playing at really high levels, you know, you're going to look really good. Um, the quarterback's job is to create plays when plays aren't there and to fill holes when some guys aren't playing as well. And so that's, you know, what I'm focused on. Not everyone's going to play really, really well every single game. That's just the nature of football. Um, and it's my job to be consistent with my decision-making and my throws and um, be able to make up for some of that. Joe, it's not often that an opposing wide receiver calls the quarterback that they're going to be facing this week a legend, but Odell Beckham called you that today in, in Brown's media. Uh, have you guys had a discussion at, at any point after you knew you had become a Bengal that, hey, I'm going to see you twice a year? Or how, how has that relationship gone since you've been drafted? Uh, you know, we, we stay in contact. Uh, I met him for the first time after the national championship game. Um, we stayed in contact ever since. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited to play against him. He's He's a character that, uh, you know, is, is fun to be around. Um, so I'm really excited to compete. What's the biggest thing you learned by watching your first NFL game back on film? You know, just like I said earlier, the, the games come down to two or three plays that you make or you don't. And I didn't make them on Sunday and, and we lost. So I'm, I'm focused on making those plays on Thursday. What would you like about the five wide look that you guys had uh, quite a bit? And, and how much would you like to see that moving forward? Or is that kind of you know opponent specific at times too yeah that's you know sometimes it'll be in sometimes it won't um depends on you know defensive personnel injuries that we have um could also affect injuries on on a, on other parts of the team where you know we have to call a guy up and you know maybe put put another guy down um just depends on the week you know i guess we'll just have to see if it comes out on thursday or not didn't seem appropriate to bring it up on Sunday, but now that we're a couple of days away from it, you graded yourself a D on the game performance. What do you grade yourself on your spike and your celebration after your touchdown run? <laughs> um, not, not, I'm, you know, my goal for the spikes are to get it out of the screen. That one just kind of dribbled away. So I'm going to have to work on that one a little bit. What about the little shimmy at the end? What was that exactly? I don't know about, I don't know about a shimmy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Joe, you get a little extra hyped up to play, you know, prime time. Robert, you obviously did a lot in college, but you get prime time Thursday night, two first or number one picks going against each other at quarterback. Does that add more to it, just being prime time in a big matchup like that? No. You know, I think the, the best quarterbacks treat every game the same. And so whether we're playing the only game on a Thursday night or we're playing at a one o'clock on a Sunday in the rain, doesn't matter. That's that's my mindset. Hey, guys. Yeah. Two more for Joe. You know, Baker's got the uh, the record for the most uh, touchdowns by a rookie. Uh, is that something that you'd like to eclipse at some point this year? Um, you know, I'm I'm focused on winning games. So the more touchdowns I throw, I think the more games we're going to win. I'm not really focused on breaking any records, but um, I need to hit some touchdown passes if we're going to win games for sure. Joe, Joe, you said you love the grind. What about the grind of this short week? You know, I mean, you got you hundred hours, you play two games. I mean, the grind's crazy, isn't it? Is it is it a different experience for you than this grind? No, I'm fired up about it. That's you know, I said after Sunday, I'm I'm glad we're playing in four days so we can get this taste out of our mouth and and move on to the next week. Um, I'm excited to play. I know our guys are excited to get out there and compete. All right, Joe, we'll let you go. Yep, Appreciate thank your you. time. Thank you.